Hello and welcome to another video by the AM Academy. Now in our last video, we took a closer look at 3D Solex print cores and compared them to the standard Ultimaker ones. Today we want to take the next step and actually print with them. So the story was that uh, we got a roll of fiber reinforced filament from our friends treed filaments down in Italy. We wanted to test this with our Ultimaker printer. Problem was that in this printer right now, there's an AA print core with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Now, if we printed two kilograms of fiber reinforced material with that one, it would wear out very, very quickly. So instead, we started looking around for options and there's a CC print core by Ultimaker that is designed for printing fiber reinforced filaments. That one has a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. Um, it's a ruby nozzle, it is uh, very strong, and it is designed for the fiber reinforced filaments without wearing out. However, that one is quite expensive, costs about 350 euros. So instead, we went for the 3D Solex option. Far, far cheaper, only about 165 euros, and the nozzles are replaceable. The rest is basically the same. It is also a ruby nozzle, and it has a 0.6 millimeter diameter. So just about the same, also great for printing fiber re reinforced materials. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. The first steps, if I want to put the 3D Solex print core inside my printer, is to actually, well, change the print core. And I'm going to click on the change button. And then the printer will start the procedure in order to change the print core. It is very, very simple. It just takes a couple of steps, as we'll see in a second, and the rest is actually plug and play. The printer will recognize this print core and then work uh, the rest out on its own. I don't actually need to change anything. So first, it wants me to open the fan bracket. There's a little instruction with images at the bottom, so I just follow that, press confirm. Now it wants me to remove the alt print core. I'm just going to do that push down on the little uh, flexible tab and take it out, put it aside, take my new print core from 3D Solex and simply put it into the open slot. Printer all, already automatically recognizes that there is a new print core, uh, wants me to close the fan bracket and press confirm and that is it. That is all I need to do. Printer realizes, okay, I have a CC print core now, 0.6 millimeter nozzle, it is the same procedure and just as easy as if I had actually purchased the original uh, Ultimaker print core. So it has realized it is now ready for printing fiber reinforced material. What I still need to do though, of course, is actually load the fiber reinforced material. So I'm going to click up there, then it wants and click on the load button. Now the printer, once again, will move the print head to the middle and it'll start heating up the nozzle in order to actually be able to load filament. Now the printer wants me to tell it what kind of filament I'm actually loading and it will be the carbon fiber reinforced CPE, confirm. And now it wants me to insert the material. So I'm just gonna rotate this around and this is my spool of material with a little clip to hold the end. So I'm gonna insert that into the printer. There we go. Go back to the front, press confirm, and now the printer will start loading the material. Until the material is there, what we can already do is prepare the build surface with the glue. So I'm just going to use Demafix here. Remember to always shake your glues properly before actually using them. This is something you always have to do after shaking it for a bit. I uh, will open it and then simply glue a fairly generous amount to the print bed in order to make sure that my part will actually stick during printing. So I will just leave it like this. Perfect. And we can already see that the material has now reached the print head. Once uh, it starts coming out of the nozzle, we are ready to print. Now we'll be printing a part that we already attempted a number of years ago, which is um, a part for a 3D printed bike. Uh, it was a project by Colorfab, and we already tried to print one of those parts a number of years back with a standard AA nozzle, and that one got worn out in no time at all. We absolutely destroyed that nozzle. 
Now, in 2021, we'll do it over again, and we're really hoping that this time around, the nozzle actually holds up. Uh, the print job will take about 400 grams of material and approximately 24 hours. Uh, yeah, and we'll see what will happen. So the material came out, I removed the tiny bit, that means the material loading is now complete. And we can actually start the print. We've got our print core, the proper one, we've got our material loaded. It is time to actually start. So I already have my USB stick plugged into the printer, and I'm going to select my file and press start print. Now I'm just going to ignore this and simply start the print. Okay, we'll check back in about 24 hours when the print job is actually completed. Alright, welcome back. It has been 24 hours and our print is actually finished. So uh, I already removed it from the belt plate earlier so I can simply take it out. But the result is truly impressive. It is a very, very smooth surface on this part. The inside looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to get a little closer to the camera and have it zoom in a tiny bit like this. And uh, then I can just show the, the surface is actually very, very impressive. Um, on the back side, there's a couple of strings, but I can simply brush those off with a little bit of effort. Um, it's not, they're not sticking strongly, they're not a problem, so to speak. And uh, the rest of the surface is really, really smooth, really good. Uh, the print worked without any issues whatsoever. Uh, we're going to have the printing parameters uh, shown in just a second. So you can see what we actually used in order to print this. And basically, we just went into Cura, selected the material, and changed nothing else. We just wanted to see what would happen if we simply plug and played it. And uh, that's what we did, and this is the very, very good result of that. Uh, so it was truly simple. We simply changed the print core. Uh, that was a plug and play experience. We just plugged it in, and it started working. We changed no settings in the printer whatsoever. And then we simply went to Decura, selected the, the, pre, the preset profile for this material, and it just started printing. So that was a really, really cool experience, and I think the uh, part quality actually speaks for itself here. The 3D Solix print core uh, is something that definitely worked very, very well, um, and that we'll be using more in the future for more parts. This was about 400 grams, so our spool of material still has about one and a half kilograms left. Uh, plenty more jobs to come. So thank you very much for watching. That's all I have for you today, and uh, I'll see you next time.